I wanted to share with everyone a case that really points out the powerful benefit of point of care ultrasound for ruling in testicular torsion. You know, in emergency medicine, we often want our tests to be rule out tests because we want them to have that perfect sensitivity to not miss anything. And when we start saying, we have a test that's a good rule in test, people kind of shrug, you know, let's let the rest of the hospital safety net and diagnostic system take on uh, ruling stuff in. It would be nice if we could rule stuff out to move patients along. Uh, but there are also a few things in pediatric emergency medicine where it's really a time sensitive application. We don't have as much in the way of MIs and strokes that they have in adult emergency medicine. And one of those few things uh, is time is testicle in pediatric testicular torsion. And this is especially important when you consider that a lot of our cases of testicular torsion will be in prepubertal males. So they won't be as clinically obvious that the cases can be after someone's been androgenized by the pubertal process. So it's common that we'll see a scrotum that we think, well, that's probably going to be um, an epididymitis, an orchitis, and one in ten of those will end up being a torsion, and it just didn't jump out at us clinically as looking like a torsion. So if there were some way to move up the diagnoses for those patients, we would really begin to make an appreciable difference in terms of testicular salvage. So this case uh, with these video clips is exactly such a patient. Uh, this was a seven-year-old boy who came in with a half a day history of scrotal pain, unilateral scrotal pain, without a very convincing exam for testicular torsion. Mm, somewhat swollen, mildly red, moderately tender. So these are cases where I use point of care ultrasound to look for flow, and I divert from a typical workup pathway of moderate suspicion, so I get a comprehensive ultrasound before I talk to urology, to do a point of care ultrasound for flow. If I see the absence of flow in one testicle, and in these clips, we'll show you the uh, unaffected side and the easy to appreciate color Doppler flow. And then now the affected side with some fluid collection, but more importantly, a testicle that shows no convincing uh, intratesticular Doppler flow. There's an occasional flash artifact as uh, my hand moves and creates a movement artifact, but no real convincing internal Doppler uh, vascular flow signal. So this was a case where I was able to immediately call um, surgery. I actually had two of these cases within the space of two days, which is pretty unusual for a pediatric emergency provider. Uh, in this first case, the patient was manually detorsed by urology in the ER and then underwent a fixation procedure. And in the second case, uh, the patient went straight to the OR for um, a detorsion and orchidopexy. So don't be discouraged by POCUS applications that are viewed as rule in uh, and not rule out. And you'll have cases like this where you can potentially save a pediatric patient's future fertility. So if you like these cases and vignettes, remember to like us and subscribe.